It is nighttime, and so I'm going to equip the discount card so that I can purchase some illegal gun parts on the cheap. Uh, 20 gold. It would help if I actually equipped my gold. Uh, people suggested a number of weapons that I should finally make. And I think I'm finally up to the task now. I'm kind of putting off making a couple of weapons because I wanted to have a lot more money, but at this point I'm doing not bad. So let's buy a couple of illegal gun parts. And let's go talk to the guide because I can't remember what other things I need for sure. So hello Mr. Guide, tell me about the illegal gun parts. Mega Shark requires Mini Shark, Shark Fins, and Souls of Might. And the Flamethrower requires Iron and Souls of Fright. Okay. And so, do I have enough Souls of Might and Souls of Fright? Might, yes. Fright, Fright, yes. Okay, great. And then I was gonna need some Iron. And so let's grab that. I've got plenty of that. And I think that's enough for one of them. I've already forgotten which one. Let's go ahead and see. Any crazy guns here? Yes, the flamethrower. Okay. This uses gel for ammo. Unfortunately, I have an ammo farm, so we're going to check that out in a moment. But then the other thing is the mega shark, and I need the mini shark for that, which means some more money that I need to spend. Hello again, Dominique, the arms dealer. All right, mini shark only costs 28 gold with the discount card. That's not so bad. And so we will grab that, and then I believe I can craft... Da -da -da -da. No, I need the shark fins, right, which will be in my potion ingredients. Shark fins, great. There we go, mega shark. 25 range damage, insanely fast speed, 50% chance not to use ammo. I've got some uh, meteor shot right now. I might just go buy some other bullets so I can test it out. And so, like, bullets are also the arms dealer, right? Yes, there's musket ball and silver bullets. And let's just buy a handful of musket balls, just to kind of try things out over here. All right, but we've got a couple of new guns. And let's let's see how they do. Mega Shark and the Flamethrower. All right, so Mega Shark. Oh yeah, that shoots fast. Let's go find somebody to shoot. And let's actually, let's take off the helmet. Actually, the helmet does a whole lot of defense. Let's take off the shoes so that my armor won't be shooting at bad guys. Oh, I ran into some thorns and the star cloak is dropping stars. All right, let's check out how the Mega Shark works against you. Kablam! Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, that does not suck. What is it shooting for? 25 range damage and then the bullets themselves. Yeah, that shoots fast. All right, that is pretty fun. And then I just switched to Meteor Shot, which also penetrates enemies. All right, so that's one gun. And then the other one is the flamethrower. How does this work? Oh, wow. All right, doesn't seem like it does tons of damage, but it does kind of penetrating continual damage and it sets guys on fire. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, and I've got tons of gel thanks to my slime farm. Whee! Yeah, and you can kind of like spin it around. All right, that's a pretty cool weapon. I wanted to get these weapons because I think the next thing we need to do now that we've beaten all of the kind of like three original hard mode bosses, the mechanical bosses, I think it is finally time that we defeat Plantera. Someone gave me a hint in the comments that suggested that after I defeat Plantera, it will be the case that the corruption will not spread as fast anymore, and I would really like that uh, before I go and try to re-purify the desert and all that kind of stuff. And so, let me get some inventory together to head over to the jungle, and we're going to go try to fight some Plantera. One more thing before we go fight Plantera. I want to reforge the Charm of Myths. Uh, it costs 25 gold. And so let's reforge. 2% critical strike, I prefer something different. 2% movement speed, I prefer something different. I'm using a lot of money here. Guarding to defense. That's that's good enough. I don't want to spend a ton of money on that. Uh, and we just spent <laughs> almost like 90 gold or something just on that. But that is good. And I think the rest of my accessories are all pretty good. Uh, because I've got 
Critical Strike, Defense, Defense, Movement Speed, and Damage. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of that. And so, I think let's go fight Plantera. Ooh, there's a Mimic over here. Mimics have good drops. I'm not sure if there's any good Mimic drops that I haven't gotten yet. But, might as well fight him. Especially when he's kind of trapped down there, and so he's going to be really easy to kill. My armor is just shooting at him. I could just like stand up here and let the armor do the work. That's crazy. Uh, let's go ahead. I have Cursed Torches. Is he down here still? Did he die? No, he's still down here. Violet Star Cloak. All right, another Star Cloak. I've already gotten a Star Cloak. That is not a Plantera, right? No, that was just some other plant. Still looking for Plantera. I'm sure he'll turn up. He's turned up so many times before. Okay, here's a Plantera. So, let's see. I might want to turn this into a little bit of a better boss fighting arena here underground before we get started. And I also... I'm gonna go ahead and use a greater healing potion because I had them in the first slot. But I'm gonna need to heal up a bit. And buff before we fight this guy. Uh, but let's try to clear all the enemies out. And then, yeah, I think I'll kind of block off... Enemies spawn off screen for the most part. And so I think I'll try to kind of block off a few different areas here. Oops. Yeah, let me take a moment to make uh, the moral equivalent of a boss arena. And I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, so here's what I've done. Hopefully it's clear. I've just kind of boxed in this area. So any enemies that spawn that can't travel through walls will just kind of like stay outside. I set down a campfire. And so I think we're, I, I didn't go back and rewatch any of my video where I fought this guy before to remember exactly how he attacks. I need to remember I've got these extra weapons on the bar so we can try the flamethrower, we can try a bunch of different things. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna take our shot. I've got my different buff potions. It seemed to me that the pumpkin pie didn't uh, get consumed as a normal buff. And I can't remember, do I just break this guy open? Yes, like that. Plantera is awoken. So we're gonna hit B for buff. I've got all my buffs. We are going to, I guess, get the, okay, flamethrower ready. All right, and is it just his main body? Yeah, there he is. All right, so can I have him on fire? Yes, okay, so that's good. And I can hit him with my sword and I can try the poison thing and that does some damage to him as well. And I've got some mobility in this little crazy mob arena that I made over here. And so, so far he's not doing so bad. Oops, I should have opened that up better. All right, so I think I can survive at least this first round of attacks of kind of basic damage. I wonder how the uh, Mega Shark does against him. I, I still just have Meteor Shot. I forgot to ever try to purchase any other bullets. All right, that hit him for like 20 at a time. My sword, I really want to carve my way through here. Hits for way more, it looks like. I can tank him for like 85 that way. Remind me, the Poison Staff is hitting him for a few shots of 20 and 30, and so that's actually a pretty good weapon to use against him. And so let's do a little bit of that for a little bit. Uh, and that's out, and let's try the Flamethrower, which is... It hits a lot. I forgot to get more Flamethrower ammo either. I completely forgot about ammunition, but I at least remembered my buffs. Remember to make an arena, remember to set down a campfire, and so hopefully this won't... Alright, yeah, he's already a third the way down, and I'm not hurting that bad. Oh, he's... There's some projectiles or something in here. Now, I'm gonna heal uh, to get my potion counter going. I'm not sure what these crazy projectile things are. Do you see them? They're like kind of crazy spores bouncing around or something. This might be a disadvantage of my arena. I might have kind of trapped myself... Oops. In an area where I'm gonna get hit by these things that I don't even know what they are. And so that's something to worry about. Uh, but with all my buffs going, I seem to be doing pretty well. And I've got enough space in here that I can kind of move around pretty well as he chases me around the arena. I lost my mouse cursor again. There it is. Okay. We really need to keep track of that. Alright, so we've got 400 hit points. And meanwhile, he has... Uh, 17,000. Alright, so we're about halfway done. I'm worried that... Once he gets to, like, down to half health, uh, that perhaps he will switch modes of fighting. Crap, I am confused or something. I was, like, stuck on the roof there. I'm not sure what just happened there. That was weird. Let's try the flamethrower again. 
That's nice kind of long range damage. Alright. Yeah, I definitely, I was getting like frozen or something it seemed like. Oh my goodness, look, he's changed, he's changed. He's, something's different. I'm gonna heal again. Uh, oh dear. Uh, he's got more arms. Can I like kill his little separate arms? I don't know. Uh, let's, yeah, it seems like I'm, they're taking damage separately. Uh, and so he's moving much quickly, more quickly. Uh, this is a problem, this is a problem. Um, can I do anything better to heal faster? I don't think so. I just need to stay away from him, it seems like. Let's try using the poison staff and see if we can hit multiple things at the same time with all of the poison fang projectiles. And I still have 15 seconds before I can heal. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, nine seconds. Come on, Brian. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Oh boy, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh, come on. Heal, all right, all right, gotta heal off. Uh, this guy's hitting really hard though. Um, not sure what to do. Uh, let's switch weapons again, let's try the flamethrower. Yeah, that's good, okay. That's hitting kind of like all his different little hands and things. Yeah, that's really good, okay. We like the flamethrower. Let's use, oh, except for my hearts, my hearts. I'm so low, I'm so low. Oh, just hit him as much as we can, hit him as much as we can. I'm breaking all his little appendages. Um, let's just, yeah, just keep wailing on him with this thing and see how that goes and just fly around in a circle. Uh, 12 more seconds before I can heal again. Uh, stay away, stay away, stay away. Uh, let's hope I have enough gel that I can just keep doing this. This is great. Heal. Uh, did I heal? Nope, three seconds. Two. One. Heal. Uh, I gotta heal. Okay, great. Uh, flamethrower, I'm glad someone asked to suggested to buy this because it's, even without seeing your mouse cursor I can see where the flames are coming out of me and so it's very easy to aim uh, and it does damage at long range oh he's so close to dead but I'm so close to dead I can't see he's got like a thousand hit points left or something come on come on come on flamethrower no he's hitting me he's hitting me oh come on 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 yes screams are echoing from the dungeon Plantera has been defeated grenade launcher greater healing potion temple key temple key he dropped the temple key. Wow. Rockets. Grenade launcher. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, temple key. I know there's a jungle temple, but there's also a corruption key mold, and I think that is the thing that I want to use first. Um, I will pick up this campfire because it's useful to carry one of those around. I am going to warp back home. And I believe my corruption key mold is... Is it in here? You guys probably see it on the screen and I don't. Yes, here it is. Corruption key mold. And so now remind me, Mr. Guide. Corruption key mold. I have a temple key and then I need five fright, five might, and five sight. And I think I still have enough of those from killing all the other bosses. Let's see. That's flight. Here's fright. Here's might. And here's sight. Yes. Okay. We are going to craft. It said like screams echo from the dungeon or something. I didn't see what the crafting station was. Uh, required objects. None. Oh, I can just craft this in my inventory. Okay. Let's craft the corruption key. Unlocks a corruption chest in the dungeon. Awesome. All right, screams echo from the dungeon. I know that the corruption chest is in the dungeon because we saw all those crazy chests in the dungeon. 66 range damage could be good. How much, uh, I still have 700 gel. That flamethrower is actually a really awesome weapon. I'm glad people suggested that I craft it. I'm gonna move it to the four slot. And I don't feel like making, I still have 300 meteor shot. I don't feel like buying other ammo, so I don't know that I'm going to use the Mega Shark all that much soon. Uh, yeah, let me just drop off some other quick inventory and then we'll head over to the dungeon. All right, we've arrived back at the dungeon. I recommend traveling overland at night. I picked up 18 fallen stars just along the way to the dungeon, so that's pretty cool. And I've got the mini map back on. I think I vaguely recall like all those crazy chests. It's been so long since we originally found these chests in the dungeon. Uh, but all those crazy chests were kind of clustered in a group in kind of the main room that was kind of down a bit and then to the right. 
So I think I kind of remember where they are, and so hopefully we'll be able to find them. And if not, we can check out on the mini-map, and hopefully that'll actually show where those chests were located. I don't remember. Uh, but the dungeon, I think we've been back here once in hard mode, and I don't think it had changed. Um, in terms of enemies and things, yeah, that's an angry bones, and so... I think the way that we're geared right now, and I still have some buffs well fed, and I got, I hit my little, uh, magic, whatever, dark caster. Yeah, it's the same kind of guy. Oh, what is that? Giant cursed skull. That's new and different. Oh, and he shoots something at me. Which chest is this? That's it. That's the corruption. All right, the key chest. Blue armored bones. Okay, so there are new enemies in here now. Ectoplasm. Oh, that's something... Weak Scourge of the Corruptor. 80 melee damage, a powerful javelin that unleashes tiny eaters. Let's try that in the one slot. Oh my gosh! Look how far it goes! It's like a... Whoa! Whoa! You see this weapon? It like hits like 10 different directions. Can I... I didn't loot all, did I? Let's loot all. Can I pick up this chest? Oh, I didn't actually manage to get everything because my inventory is full. Oh my gosh, this weapon! It just like shoots... Oh man, look at this! I'm just like, I can hit everything on the screen at once! That is amazing. Uh, let's... Drop off... So ectoplasm? I don't know what that is. Let's drop off a few things that I don't need to be holding right now, like invisibility potions and these rockets and grenades that we'll try out at some point in the future. And stars that I'm not going to pick up any more of. And yeah, let's do a little bit of exploring now here in... Oh, oh, blue armored skeleton. Alright, but I can hit him a thousand ways from Sunday with this crazy weapon. Um, Alright, and now I can loot all the rest of this and pick this up. Yes, corruption chest. Uh, did I consume the corruption key, or do I still have it? I think it was consumed. I don't recall if there were multiple corruption chests in here, because this... That looks like... Yeah, I don't remember. I'll have to take a look at the jungle temple key and ask the guide about crafting recipes, I guess. This weapon is freaking amazing, because it just bounces off the walls in here. And just goes in every direction. And hits really hard. Wow! Well, this weapon, Rusty Armored Bones... Uh, somebody- Oh! I got a darkness thing. I really need to get that. Oh, what is that? That's something else that got ectoplasm. So there's some kind of, like, new ghostly spirit kind of enemies in here, it seems like. Oh, I can just hold down the button on this weapon, too! Oh! New favorite weapon! Oh, man. This thing is freaking amazing. It is definitely a new favorite weapon. So what are you? Rusty Armored Bones. And you, I didn't get a chance to see because my weapon has destroyed you before I even got a chance to get over there. Alright, my life is doing fine. Let's do some exploring around the dungeon. I want to see who these ectoplasm... Oh, what did he just drop? Sniper rifle. Oh my god! Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! There is someone... Sigma the Cyborg has arrived! <laughs> this game! With its unexpected crazy events. I'm, like, killing guys left and right, and I can't even see who I'm killing. Uh, let's get down here. All right, let's stop holding down the button. All right, who are you? Paladin, 5,000 hit points. Holy crap, that's like a mini-boss. Uh, I just stepped on a dart trap. Um, let's go try to kill the paladin. All right, button holding down. He's got tons of, he's got tons of armor. 4,000, 3,000, 2,000 something. And it seems like he's trying to do melee damage, so before he gets here, let's just kill him off, I guess, because I'm afraid of how he's going to hit me. Alright, he's dead. Gold coins, five. Wow, that's a lot of... Let's get rid of this stupid... There we go. Uh, thing that was shooting me. Um, Alright, what are you? With your crazy laser weapon. Oh, I didn't get a chance to see you. I killed you too fast. Um... <laughs> I had an episode before that was entitled, like, Who's Shooting Lasers? And, like, this one... I don't think it was lasers. It was, like, something different than lasers. Man, this weapon is so amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. Like, I can shoot around corners. I can shoot so fast. It just goes in every direction. Like, inside it contains... This is good for fighting Plantera. Since I need to farm some jungle temple keys in order to get back in the jungle temple again. Oops. 
Uh, let's, ooh, what do I have? Broken armor. Oh, there's still water candles around here that's gonna increase the monster spawn rate. So long as I'm staying alive, that could actually be a good thing to have more monsters spawning. Let's just walk around and see who else we run into down here. All right, who are you? Rusty Armored Skeleton. All right, we've seen tons of you. I need to heal. I've still got the greater healing potions from fighting Plantera. I'm not sure that I need them. Let's actually go and swap. Let's get the normal healing potions on the bar first thing, because I think I can stay alive with just those based on the enemies I've seen so far. All right, so there's someone below me down here because my armor's shooting at... Oh, there's a bunch of people down here. All right. Well, let's go after... All right, here's another one of these chests. That one seems to be an ice chest. It looks like an ice key. And so I guess each one of these chests has some kind of, like, super thing inside of it, like this awesome weapon that I'm using right now. That'd be amazing. Now I want to get all of those, all of those keys, all those chests. I mean, look at this. I just stand in one place and hold down the button, and I can aim in any direction that I want, basically. And eventually, my projectiles are going to hit all these bad guys, and everybody's going to die, and I am going to get loot. I saw something spiked adhesive bandage. I've already got the adhesive bandage, which I turned into the medicated bandage that could also prevent poison attacks. I forget what the... Yeah. In any case, there's still some drops, as we talked about before, that I need to get for the... I think it's called, like, the... Ankh charm or something that protects you against like all the different status effects. I never got a chance to see. All right, are you just a uh, dungeon slime? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you dropped a golden key. That's just what a dungeon slime drops. All right. Uh, I never got a chance to see the guy who's like shooting the laser-like things at me. I want to go find one of those and hover my mouse on them to see what it actually is. And then I also wonder if. Uh, yeah, there's probably a few guys in here that might have rare drops that might be very awesome now, especially like that new Cursed Skull guy and who knows what else. How am I doing on money? 11 gold already. Yeah, it seems like these guys are dropping a lot of gold as well. Like, I'm not even managing to pick it up because I'm killing so many guys who are off screen with this crazy weapon. All right, so... Yeah, I may start making some cuts here and bring you guys back in as interesting things happen around the dungeon, so wish me luck. Oh, here's the thing. Oh, I, the thing that dropped the ectoplasm, I didn't still get a chance to hover my mouse over it. Darn it. All right, there's that blue bones guy again, I think. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't stand on spikes. That's, that's dumb. All right, he dropped ectoplasm as well. Hmm. Oh, when the blue armored skeleton died, I think another enemy came out of him, and then that's the thing that dropped the ectoplasm, I think. All right, we need to find another one now that I have a hypothesis of what's going on. Uh, hello, bad guys. Where'd y'all go? I know I've been killing you all, but I'd like you to come back now so I can kill you some more. <laughs> Oops, let's not get hit by the dark trap. All right, there's... Okay, blue armored skeleton. I'm going to try to almost kill him. No? All right. Let's continue to refine this hypothesis. Oh, 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 crap. What are you? What are you? This thing is chasing me. Whoa. All right, I... All right, I had some kind of darkness effect. Oh, crap. I've got it again. All right, what are you? I want to get my mouse cursor hovered over you before I do anything. Ranged caster? Ragged caster? I didn't get the word. And did I kill him? I think I killed him. I didn't see if he dropped anything. I have a tiny bit of inventory space. Oh, there's another paladin. Hold on. Oh, oh, there's something else. Shooting like, uh, was that the paladin shooting? All right, hold on. Heal. Maybe I do need the extra healing potions. Oh, look at this. My uh, things are actually going towards the bad guys. I just thought they were bouncing off the walls. They're actually like turning corners to go after bad guys. That is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh, this weapon is like so OP. Wow. All right, and there's the ectoplasm again. I'm really still haven't figured out that. Oh, there's a heart container up there. Um, still haven't figured out the ectoplasm thing quite yet. Um, let's see. I saw a heart container. I wasn't sure if it was in the dungeon above me or... Yeah, because I think when I was first in the dungeon, I wasn't getting heart containers anymore because... Oh, armor polish! Oh, I think I already have armor polish. In any case, it's another one of the status effects 
remover drops. Um, oh, something else. Oh no, those are that's my own weapon kind of bouncing back. I think I think with this uh, pickaxe axe, I can actually like chop through the dungeon walls like really quickly. So I just want to try to like make my way up here. Actually, all right, hold on. I have to kill a bunch of bad guys. Die! 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 All right, I thought I saw a heart container up here somewhere. There might actually just be a normal cave up here. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Oh, look at this background. What is this background? Is this the background that I like? Is this like hallowed? I'm not sure what's happening with the background here. And we have some of these little skull containers. I don't know what's up. I need to organize my inventory a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, inventory has been reconfigured. Let's get back into the dungeon. And then... I really want to figure out who's dropping the ectoplasm, and I want to fight the paladin again, and I want to fight the guy who's shooting the thing that looked like lasers but weren't lasers. Oh! Was that him? No. That was probably the old-style caster, because he died too easily. I'm guessing. Alright, here's some more blue armored skeletons. Oh, okay! Here we go! Where is he? Necromancer! Is that the guy? Come, come, come down here and fight me like a man, Necromancer. Yes, Necromancer. Okay. He's the guy who's shooting the crazy lasers. I can't believe that these things home in on the enemies. Like, I'm not even firing again. I guess my armor's firing again. Oh, man. This weapon is so amazing. Well, I guess you have to beat... You have to beat all the hard mode bosses to get all the soul, well, all the mechanical bosses to get all the souls, and you have to beat Plantera. Oh, does this guy teleport around every time I hit him? I think he does. Whoa. I'm glad I have this weapon. All right, here's another paladin. I think he was throwing the axes at me, and so I just want to see if I get close to him. Well, I've got, I've got 500 hit points. Let's see how hard he hits. Yeah, I hit for like 70, and I've got really good armor, so he hits hard, but... Fortunately, I've got an awesome weapon that I can use to kill him off. Oh, he dropped something. Paladin shield. Paladin shield. What is that? Equipable six defense. Absorbs 25% of damage done to players on your team. Is that what it says? Is that like a PvP multiplayer kind of useful thing? Yes. Only active above 25% life. Okay, here's this teleporting laser necromancer guy. All right, so his... It seems like he casts a thing that bounces off the walls. Or maybe it's also homing. I didn't get a chance to see, really. Alright, I... think possibly we haven't seen any new enemies in a while. I'm gonna heal one more time with the lesser healing, or normal healing potion. Alright, I'm gonna make another... Oops, there's another... I wonder if these guys have rare drops. Alright, I'm gonna fight around in the dungeon for a little while. I'll bring you guys back in if there's anything new. And I'll see you when I see you. Whoa! Uh, what was that? You are Skeleton Commando, and he just shot, like, a rocket launcher at me or something. And I don't know if I killed him, or if he walked away, or teleported, or what just happened. We're gonna kill a few other enemies in the room first. Who seem like they're all just the normal blue skeletons and whatnot. And then we're gonna walk over here. Oh crap! Where he died. I didn't see any like special drops. If it gets quieter in here, I'll go check my inventory. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to tell with all the mess of stuff that's in my inventory if I got anything new and exciting. Alright, I wonder how difficult this enemy would be to fight if I didn't have this weapon. Because he moves around so quickly. I could easily imagine that I would continually miss him as he teleported all around. Okay, there's... Ah, oh, I killed it again. I see there's a gold chest down in this little section below me that I think might actually be like a cave that's outside the dungeon and it's just surrounded by the dungeon and so it's got like pink walls but then there's also like spider webs and things in here. And so I'm just going to... Light up this area and check out what's in this little chest. Another extractinator. I wonder if you could sell that. And a suspicious looking eye. I will take these things happily. Oh, here's this guy, Skeleton Commando. Alright, we killed him, definitely. 
and he didn't drop anything, but he was the guy who was shooting like the rocket launcher missiles at me or whatever. My inventory has gotten reasonably full again, but at this point I can do a quick stack and clear out a bit of it. Okay, here's another skeleton commando. Hold on. Whoop. Crap, 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 crap. Inventory's still open. There we go. Close it out. All right, skeleton commando. Oh, oh what is that guy? He's moving super fast. Uh, I didn't see what he was. There was someone who was moving like at very high speed. Um, I really think when you kill the skeletons, there's like a new enemy that appears for a moment sometimes, and then that new enemy is the thing that drops the ectoplasm, I think. But I still haven't gotten a good look at actually like watching it happen. That's the fast guy. Who is he? Who is he? Bone Lee. Bone Lee is someone new who also doesn't appear to have any special drop, or at least not a common drop. Maybe he's got a rare drop. And I'm a little worried about the fact that I'm not staying alive as well as I was doing before. Maybe I should set down a campfire. Yeah, let's do that. And then just hang around in this area for a moment. Where's my campfire? All right, there's a bone Lee up here, as well as a bunch of blue armored bones. And so after I killed this guy down, yeah, did you see that? It seems like he forms an enemy right before, oh, all right, I need to get rid of you. All right, there's a bunch of bad guys around here. That's the Bone Lee, the super fast guy, I think. All right, and now can I shoot up here and like have them bounce off and like get in there to like shoot all you guys? Yeah, that works pretty well. Except for now these guys are coming down after me. Yikes, and now I've gotten away from my campfire. Let's go back closer to the campfire. All right, this guy is a necromancer. He's only got 450 hit points. So he's got a really cool weapon, but... And I guess the fact that he teleports around is pretty cool for him, but with my weapon, he's not really much of a match. All right, well, a handful of these enemies do seem pretty difficult, and so I'm glad that we managed to find this new weapon, kind of like first thing as we came back into the dungeon. Because I could imagine that if you didn't have a weapon like this, and in fact, I'm just curious. Oh, I already put my other weapon away in the safe. I was going to say, if I wasn't fighting with this weapon, like, how would I be doing? How would I be faring? Alright, but I haven't seen any new drops or new enemies in a little while. And so I think at this point we're going to head back, head back upstairs, head back home, uh, and check out some of the new things that we did manage to pick up already, uh, and see what other things we can craft. All right, I've been going through inventory. Before we do much else, I happen to have a weak Scourge of the Corruptor, and it costs a lot to reforge, but let's reforge it. Unpleasant. Extra damage, extra knockback. Oh yeah. Now it would cost an incredible amount to reforge again, but I am happy with that first reforging. That is a big improvement. Uh, let's put away again some money. I'm still going through all my inventory. Basically, I've taken my new corruption chest, and so I've got a whole bunch of armor polish drops. I've got the adhesive bandage. Uh, Paladin shield... Equipable. And so that means it's an accessory, right? Yeah. Alright, that doesn't seem like that'll be too useful. Ancient necro helmet was something I picked up. That seems like something that might be a pre-hard mode. Uh, drop ectoplasm we need to ask the guide about and then these things are not Those are just weapons. We need to try out. All right, let's go ask the guide about ectoplasm I know I've seen it in a crafting recipe before I think with the chlorophyte or something Yes, chlorophyte specter hood specter robe and specter pants magic and movement speed magic and Chris Chris the Critical Strike, Maximum Mana, Increased Magic Damage, and Critical Strike. Okay, so this seems to be a magic suit, basically. Alright, so that's a possibility. I'm not a big magic caster kind of person all that often. Spectre Pickaxe, 200% uh, pickaxe power, plus 3 range. That's neat. You can mine things really far away. That might be worth making. Hammax, paintbrush. I see these things at plus three range. Great. Ghost wings. I imagine that isn't any better than the wings I've got right now. I know there's a few tiers of wings. Pumpkin moon medallion. Hallowed bars, ectoplasm, and pumpkins. 
All right, I know from video titles and things I've seen before that that's another event, kind of like summoning the goblin invasion or whatever. Uh, and so I don't know that I'm immediately ready for that. Uh, but I think I might make this uh, pickaxe axe. I'd have to carry around another axe then. Cut down trees or whatever, but that could be useful. I don't know if I'm going to make any of this other specter armor that's kind of like the magical armor. All right, but that seems like all the things you can make out of the ectoplasm. Pretty cool. I wonder what the set bonus is for that uh, armor set, though. All right, let me continue going through my inventory. 